So the first thing for students to consider in this question is what does 1% mean? And the worksheets give a short explanation and say that 1% is equal to 1 hundredth. So it's important that students have a conceptual understanding of what that means, not just a rote learning, not a rote understanding that basically accepts what you say, but they can understand what that is referring to. We'll talk about the meaning of the word percent, meaning per hundred or out of a hundred. And of course we have words starting with cent and the word cent itself in the currencies of many countries, instead, including um, Australia, that is a hundredth of a dollar. And we have century and centurion and centimeter and, you know, um, quite a lot of words that refer to the value of the prefix cent meaning a hundred. So percent meaning one hundredth. We're going to start there and then move forward. So in the uh, worksheets, there are a couple of examples like this. So we start with a number like 300 and say, what will one hundredth of 300 be? Well, that would be just plain three. And I would want to help students to understand that by asking them questions like, if we divide that by a hundred, if we take one hundredth part of that, what will it be? Don't, in my view, you shouldn't talk about just moving the digits. So we're not talking about just moving the digits. They'll see that pattern but we want them to understand why first and have some idea of you know, how the numbers are changing as they are, in this case, divided by 100. So um, we can make a more advanced number, say 2300, what number will that become? It will become just plain 23. Let's make this a little bit more challenging. So we'll say this is the ones column and I'll just label these. So this will be the decimal point, so this will be tenths and this will be hundredths. So now let's start with the number 50 as a whole number and we're going to call it $50. So it's got some uh, monetary value and say what would 1% of $50? Now I should say the reason for calling it dollars is that we often apply percentages to monetary amounts and so it's you know it's part of the context for a lot of you know introductory um, learning about percentages so what's going to happen to the fifty dollars if we take one percent of fifty what's going to happen to it if we've done the previous exercises and we've seen how the numbers are moving two places to the right if we do the same thing here and I'm using these magnetic numbers again numerals I should say and we put the 50 there, we're going to need a decimal point. We can put our dollar sign here, but we'll need a zero in the dollars place. The student should be able to see that we convert $50 to 50 cents um, through following a pattern of how we apply this question to other larger whole numbers. Now, taking 0.5% of course is an extension of 1%. So we would approach it from that perspective. So once the students have seen that 1% is 1 hundredth, half a percent must be half of that. Um, I wouldn't immediately jump in and say, so therefore it's, it's 1 two hundredth, which it is. But I think it's easier for students learning this um, knowledge and, uh, and developing this skill to think of it, um, taking 1% first and then finding half of it. And later on we can apply other processes to it. Um, and so I don't need to put this up in the numbers, but the, the students will be able to see that, that if you take 1%, which is a matter of moving the digits two places to the right, and then halve the result, you'll get half a percent. Of course, more advanced students will be able to do this um, mentally. So for example, with our example of 34 and converting that, or rather multiplying it by half a percent, a good student will see that half of 34 is 17 and 1% will 1% of 34 is 34 cents half of that is 17 cents um, and so that's the result so this really is quite a challenging topic but I don't think the students will find it too difficult once they get used to the pattern um, we need to reinforce their learning of course with asking good questions to prompt the conceptual development as well